Africa. Surrounded by the Atlantic and Indian Oceans, the Mediterranean and Red Seas, it is a continent awash in culture, religion and languages. It also is rich in contradictions, and when it comes to African identity, the vast Sahara Desert draws a very distinct line. The Sahara has been one main marker which actually divided the north and the south. And on that basis, people can argue that North Africa, with a particular kind of history with regard to world uh, uh, historical events, uh, are very different from sub-Saharan Africa. We took to the streets of Cairo to find out just what that difference is. Arab Muslim. Ana Masri. Most of the many people we asked said they did not consider themselves African. In fact, many of them looked shocked that we would ask such a question. So, why the disparity? As a Mediterranean country, Egypt is much more attached to, to Europe in one hand, and as a country of the Red Sea, it's attached to the Mashrek or Arabia in general. And in most history, that's where the interaction with Egypt in terms of invasions or trade or investment or migration uh, were all uh, related to these two areas. And it's not just Egypt. The Mediterranean Sea has brought foreign influences ashore in North Africa for centuries, impacting not only culture, but also one of the continent's main religions, Islam. Sufi orders are very common in countries south of the Sahara. The trend now in North Africa is the Wahhabi uh, Saudi Arabian um, influenced Islam has become prevalent in much of North Africa. It's not just natural influences at play. Egyptians are racist to call us Bunga Bunga and Kungo Bungo. Historian Jill Camel says this type of discrimination is partly a product of years of foreign rule and with it an association between fair skin and the elite. We have had uh, the Greeks and the Romans, the Ottoman Turks and the Arabs, the British and the French um, all have left their mark on Egypt. So popular is the notion here that white is beautiful that more and more women and girls are resorting to the use of these skin whitening creams, which TV ads promise will make your skin fairer within a matter of weeks. Add to this the overall image of Africa as a continent of poverty, conflict and disease. And, say experts, you have a picture of why some North Africans try to distance themselves from the continent that, like it or not, is their home. Shahira Amin, CNN, Cairo.